new viewers if you exist <laughs> ah I'm a tired person and had a long day a long exhausting day all right so last time we streamed to fallout New Vegas we went and talked to bright Jason bright and he said that the demons were in the uh, we're down here in the basement and he wanted us to go get rid of him. Well, we're gonna try and go get rid of him. We'll turn the lights off, because if we don't, it'll be easier to see. Do a little bit of crouching, a little bit of sneaking. These are super mutants. Well, these are nightkin, and they're hostile, so. And they're also a bit on the invisible side. Oh, we can actually might be able to sneak past them. You know, we'll go talk to this one down here. This one is actually not hostile to us. The rest are though. What's that, Antler? We have a visitor. An assassin more like. I say kill it, Antler! For safe sake. Hmm? Okay, Adler, I'll ask. Uh, hi, human. Why you come here? Are you alright? You sound strange. I am in command of my faculties. In command of my troops. Adler guides me in all things as I, in turn, guide my kin. Who is Adler? Who is Antler? Who is Antler? Antler, the human asks about you. What do I tell it? All right. All right. Yes, yes, of course. Who Antler is not important to you. Antler wants that you deal with me. Maybe I can help. Good. Antler brought us here for a reason. Why was that, Antler? Right, a, a piece of paper, shipment invoice, hundreds of stealth boys sent here a, a long time ago. But stealth boys must be in the one room, one we don't search yet, the one we can't search. Why can't you search the last room? A ghoul, but not squishy like others. This ghoul is tough. I thought Antler said, send my kin into that room, but three died. Ghoul is a crack shot and set traps too. After I realized, I heard Antler wrong, so I locked the door to keep Ken out and wait for Antler to tell me what to do. Mm. Then, you come along. Antler says you are solution. All right, all right, all right. Sounds, sounds reasonable, sounds reasonable. Okay, let's see. Oh, one second here. I need to look at something. Forgive me. Everything okay over here? It was okay. Okay. All right. There it is. Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. If I find the stock, if I sat, if I find the stealth boy stockpile for you. Wait, I need, I need to read that again. I'll find the stealth boy stockpile for you if you and your kid leave this place. Yes. Antler says we leave here as soon as we get stealth boys. Let me give you key. Antler had me lock the door. The ghoul inside, not expecting a human. Maybe he don't shoot you. Maybe he will. All right, so we got the key. If we avoid being seen by the other, other super mutants, we should be fine. All right, so this is the room. And there is someone on the inside. What's this? Oh, it's just... Part of it. Okay. Come and get it, you big dumb. Hey, you're not one of those things out there. Who the hell are you? Jason sent me down here to get rid of the demons. And I bet he told you it's the creator's will for you to risk your ass instead of him, right? Well, good luck with that. 
I'd give you a hand, but no thanks. I may look like a corpse, but I'm partial to living. How'd you end up trapped down here? First off, I'm not trapped. This was a tactical choice, all right? I'm no match for those things out there. So I found a good defensive position, and I've been defending it, right? Oh, who am I fooling? I'm trapped. Name's Harlan. Pleased to meet you. What happened was, I was escorting folks down to work when those things attacked us. Most of the fight was upstairs, but some folks panicked and made for the basement, and I went after them. Well, turns out there were even more of those bastards down here than upstairs, and things went to shit fast. I couldn't find the others, so I fell back to this room, set up a nice little kill zone. End of story. Look for a stash of stealth boys in this room. How can I help you get out of this room? How have you survived? How can I help you get out of this room? Huh. Well, you're polite. I'll give you that. If this was just between you and me, I'd do as you ask. But it's not. I had a friend with me when those mutant bastards came out of nowheres. She panicked and ran the wrong direction. Further into the basement, she's probably dead. But I ain't leaving until I know for sure. I'd have gone looking myself, except I wouldn't last a minute out there. You, on the other hand, seem pretty resourceful. Find my friend, and I'll get out of your way. I'll try to find your friend. Thanks. Let me know what you find out. Here's hoping she's okay. She's not okay. Lols. Alright, so. Right down there. Oh, it's, it's, you can see the red. It illuminates when it's over a target. There's one down there. Alright. This is gonna be hard. We're not gonna be able to get past these guys without a fight, so let's get the fight on. That's one. There's right on there. Can I get him in the head. Oh, I need to eat some food real quick. My armor condition is dangerously low. That's not good. All right, let's see here. Oh, I see. My headgear is dangerously low, but everything else, that one's fine. Okay, that's fine. Not too worried about that. Oh, for, let's see here. Ooh, it got me a star bottle cap. Very nice. Is this, a, is this an end? It is an end, but it might be a good one. Let's see. Uh, what do we got? We got scrap metal. We've got plenty of scrap metal here. I could use that for ammo, or I could sell it to the vendor. Is it the vendor bot? Whatever his name is. The gun runners robot. I think you could sell the scrap metal to them, and I could get stuff in exchange for it. Ammo or whatnot. Um, let's see.
What's on in here? Mm, ooh, that's one health plus 30 seconds. I'm looking for something that's a bit better. Ooh, that one's pretty good. We'll need a couple of those. And we'll go with the, ooh, real dances. I remember there being a a nightkin down here with a flamethrower, so we're going to have to go in pretty strong, I think. So we're going to switch over to a better weapon. Um, hmm, which one? Repeater? Let's go with the repeater. We're gonna we're gonna attack this guy from behind. Oh wait a second, he's not a pure stone. Hmm. Yeah, he's got himself a flamer, that's a problem. Oh, took him down, very nice. Alright, take that. I'm gonna take that. I'm gonna take these. Now, where and where did you go? Oh, it must be upstairs. Okay, never mind. I was worried that it might not be there. Interesting. If I could sneak past that guy and get in here, I could get the jail key out of, jail, jail key out of this desk. We didn't even have to fight him. Cool. That's going downstairs. What's this? There we go. Oh, wait, are we in the right place? Nope, nope, we definitely got some scrap going on right here. Okay, we found the person. 
Yep, we gotta tell Harland. Side? Wrong side. Did you find my friend? Yes, unfortunately. I see. Well, spare me the details. Damn it. I'm gonna miss that crooked yellow smile. All right. You did your part, so I'll do mine. Look around up here if you want. I'm gonna make a break for topside. Mm -hmm. Sounds like a plan. All right, so here's the trick, or the trick. Is it really a trick? If you follow the if you follow the nightkin, they've already set off traps. There's also a possibility of encountering some frag mines. I'm trying to remember what they look like. They're kind of... Oh, there they are. Right there. They look little... They look, they look like little piles of soil or whatever, but... Get too close to them, of course, they'll do what they do best, right? Alright. So what we got up here is we got ourselves... Bed of rad roach meat. Now I believe... It's all empty. Oh no, this one's on it too. Let's see, anything else? Oh, nope, okay. So, it's in the terminal here, which is... Make sure that none of them are trapped. Yep, this one here. Shipment mistake. Alright, Repcon. To Robco HQ Supply Department from Bill Martin, Repcon Custodian. Dear Robco Supply, First off, let me say that everyone here is really excited about the merger. It's, a super, it's super to be part of a company as exciting as Robco. You know, some kinks in the supply chain yesterday. A bunch of crates got delivered here containing two gross devices called Stealth Boys. Is it okay as I ask what these things are? Do they really make you invisible? That sounds wild. What will Rob could think next? Let me know if the shipment came here by mistake. No problem if it didn't. I bet you can have a lot of fun with these things. Thanks, Bill Martin. Alright, so actually the one we're supposed to look for is this one here. Robco Supply Department to Sanjeev Rajan. Rukhan Custodian. We're sending back two crates of devices labeled Stealth Boys back to you. According to the manifest, each crate contains a gross 144 of the devices. <coughs> Excuse me. As a result, the employee misbehavior, not mine. One crate was open and is missing of five Stealth Boys. Sorry about that. Sincerely, the Custodian. Alright. So now we can go tell the guy. We can go tell, uh, was it Davidson and Antler? That, uh, where they are. And they'll go find them. Or something like that.
My head is crippled. That's not good. Let's see if I can fix that here. The head is considered a limb. Which means you could lose a limb. In this game, you could lose a limb and still survive and still be okay. Which means you could lose your head and still be okay. Oh, wow. Well, okay. I thought we were going to be friendly, but no, he, he caught, he found out. Well, bumper sword. Got rid of the mannequin. Oh. That's unfortunate. Okay, let's see here. Uh, food. That's right. Weapons repair. Nope. Where is the silliness going on here? All right, so anything go? Ooh, hello. Like that. Let's see, the bumper store takes eight strength, which I do not have. Hmm. Well, at least I know where it is if I want to get it. Oh, what the heck? Oh, I went the wrong way. Whoops. There we go. Well, we got rid of the Nightkin. I was hoping to just like maybe avoid combat, but it didn't work out that way. So we're going to head this way now. Tell Jason that they are all gone. That uh, everything should be fine for them to do whatever it is they're doing. Of course, there's a bunch of things to do for them. We're going to help them out in a few different ways, which is great. Is he upstairs? I hope he's upstairs. Yes. <clears throat> nope, doesn't look like he's upstairs. Must be downstairs then. Where is he? Oh, there you is. Hey there. Is the way clear? The demons are gone. Praise the Creator and bless you, Wanderer. The way is clear. I will lead my flock through the basement to the sacred site. I hope you will come find us there, Wanderer. There is much to be done. Head to Red Tom Basement and talk to Jason Bright about what comes next. Well, we're gonna, they're going to fly me to the moon, you know, let me dance among the stars. I'll get to see what spring is like on Jupiter and Mars. Here we are. Ooh. Oh, boy. Let's see. 
The lights are on? Yeah, they are. Okay. They got them spacesuits on. Pretty cool, pretty cool. And there we are. But they love to stick it right here. Y'all need to like hurry the rack up. Excuse me. I was gonna say I could deliver you from the pain of this world. It won't. It won't cost that much either. Let's see here. Um, what do we got doing here? Uh, do, 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 do. No, I don't see anything there. All right. What is in here? Oh, we got ourselves a reloader bench. Very nice. Ooh, hello. No, an empty locker. No. Okay, what do I got here? What can I make? Ooh, I can make some of these. Nice. Oh, I can only make eight of them. All right, let's see here. I want to break down. What do I want to break down? That will give me large rifle primer, rifle powder. Uh, let's see here. I need cases. Oh, okay. I got the stuff. I got a bunch of stuff. I just need the 357 case. Okay. That's what I don't have. All right. I can do that. Oh, hello. I missed this entirely. Oh, it's just damaged area. Okay. <clears throat> Right, we got ourselves a workbench to build stuff. Can't go there. Spacesuit. You know what? I might as well take this. It might be fun to have. Mint hats, medex, and stim packs. Brilliant. Talk to me, talk to me, glow man. I waited to speak with you one last time before I descended to the launch pad, Wanderer. The Wanderer. I want you to know that we will remember for all eternity how you delivered us to the threshold of the Great Journey. Our preparations are nearly complete, but the rockets that will carry us to salvation are yet missing vital components. If you would still help us, Wanderer, speak to Chris. He can tell you what is missing. There is no way that we can thank you enough, Wanderer. Your arrival here was a blessing. We will remember you always. What's the great journey? We wish to escape the barbarity of the wasteland, especially the violence and bigotry of its human inhabitants. The creator has promised to my flock a new land, a place of safety and healing, a paradise in the far beyond. Preparations for the great journey were nearly complete when the demons appeared. Are you seriously going to make the great journey in these rockets? Yes. The rockets will convey us to our promised land in the far beyond. Vision upon vision has confirmed it. Are these surface to surface rockets or will they launch you into orbit? I understand your concerns, friend, and I thank you for voicing them. But the Creator's will for us has been made manifest. What is the far beyond? I have glimpsed it only in visions, Wanderer, but what I have seen is truly miraculous. It is a place of light and healing, and I know in my soul that my flock will be safe there. Let's talk about Chris. After all that you have done for us, I suppose you deserve to know everything. When Chris came to us, we tried to convince him that he was human. 
but this only angered him. He seemed lost. We decided to let him stay with us for a few days, over the course of which we learned that his technical skills far surpassed our own. It became clear that the Creator had sent him to us to ensure the success of the great journey. Equally clear was that Chris should labor in blessed ignorance of his humanity and his inability to make the journey himself. It is no coincidence that two humans have been vital to the success of the great journey. It is my belief that the Creator sent you and Chris to expiate the sins of your kind against mine. You are redeemers both. So you're going to leave Chris behind. Such is the Creator's will. Vision upon vision has shown me that were Chris to accompany us, he would die in minutes. The radiation around the launch pad alone would kill Chris in minutes. The radioactivity of the far beyond is much stronger. Well, it's none of my business. Chris shall be declared the saint of the great journey before we depart. I hope this will ease his sadness. Goodbye, Jason. There is no way that we can thank you enough, Wanderer. Your arrival here was a blessing. We will remember you always. Mm, 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 mm. All right, where are you at? Oh, there he is. Yes. Jason says that I am to cooperate with you on the final tasks necessary to launch the great journey. How can I help? I was close to completing work on the rockets before we were driven into hiding on the top floor. Two components were missing. A quantity of isotope 239 igniting agent and a set of thrust control modules. The igniting agent is highly radioactive and decays quickly. That's why we can't use the drums that leak down on the launch pad. It's no longer potent enough. I need you to find an intact, shielded container of the igniting agent. As for the thrust control modules, they were custom built for these rockets. They won't even launch without them. I'll track down the igniting agent. Very well. We don't need a huge amount. Two to three liters should be enough. Can you give me tips on my current task? Repcon has been ransacked so many times by scavengers, it's hard to know where the components might turn up, if they turn up. Jason has mentioned some industrial ruins to the east that are supposed to be highly radioactive. All right. Later. All right, let's go find this radioactive uh, isotope. Uh, the uranium-236 explosive space module tour. We need to blow up the Earth because it obstructs uh, my view of Venus. Uh, let's see, if I remember it right, it's... Yeah, it's all the way over here, so... There are some ruins just... Outside. In that direction, yeah. I can't believe that this dinosaur is actually named Dinky. That's a that's a name. We're not Dino. Hmm? Oh, okay. They're actually okay. For a second, I thought that that was a, a sacked that was a, a, a sacked caravan on the road. I was about to run down there, but uh, all right, we got ourselves a raider. No longer raiding. Alright, so that goes down to the road. Wait a second. Is that Legion? It looks like a that looks like a Legion. Couple of Legions, okay. Didn't even see that second one. Machete. Oh, there's Eddie. Like, what are you doing? Where'd you go, my guy? I was looking at you. 
are over here. Where are you at? I don't see any critters, but they're there, supposedly. Oh, there he is. A young golden gecko. Alright, see if I can do something about being... Let's make him younger. Alright. I think they're further in the town, aren't they? Oh, hello. Oh, we got a person here. Mr. Radical Journal. Radiation suit. Alright, found some atomic fuel for the rockets. We can avoid being detected. We're good to go. Oh, hello. What is this? Oh, it's a mole rat. Oh, okay. Nice. So, the entrance was over here, yes? No, oh, there we go. Found the components we discussed. Found an entire container of igniting agent. Yes, that's the stuff. And the container shielding must be intact, or you'd be dead by now. Now all I need is the thrust control modules. Can you give me need? Can you give me any tips on my current task? Scavengers wouldn't know the value of the modules just by looking at them. If you know any junk dealers in the area, I'd start there. All right, let's see. Uh, we're going to go... Old Lady Gibson, I think her name is. And she is north of Novak. Oh, you're Helios 1. We go to Novak. We go up here to Lady Old Lady Gibson a couple times. There are a few quests that bring us to her. One is this quest, and another one is there's a there's Rex. He needs a new brain, yeah. and we can go to her. And uh, let's see. This is one more, but I don't remember what it is. She, lo she loves dogs. Look at this. Kasura. Milu. Okay, let's go talk to her. What kind of caps do I got? Um. Oh, I hope I have enough. I can either try to convince her through speech or buy or pay for them. I don't know which one we'll be able to do. I'm old lady Gibson, or so they tell me. I've got odds and ends for sale, and I'm pretty good at fixing things, too. You might have noticed the very large building just north of here. That's Helios 1. The NCR runs the place, so it's off limits to prospectors. Do you have any thrust control modules from Ripcon in stock? As it so happens, I do have some thrust modules, <clears throat> but they're expensive. 500 caps worth of expensive. Yep, I do not have the speech. All right, how about we do this? Um, so, Subject E, oh, diagnosis complete. Begin recording. My name is Whitley. I'm a 
researcher at Adams Air Force Base. Until recently, I was in charge of the Duraframe reinforcement project for the combat model iBots. iBot Duraframe Subject E is both the prototype and the last functional model in this test group. I was prepared to make several significant upgrades to the machines. However, as the project was canceled and all Duraframe assets are being diverted to Hellfire Armor, I am sending this model to the Navarro Outpost. If you're listening to this log from one of our Enclave outposts in Chicago, give this unit whatever repairs it needs so it can continue to Navarro. Oh, interesting. Alright, so uh, what's the... what do you call? No, not that one. Sells me weekly? No, no, no. Let's see here. Uh, chivalry? No. Ooh, wait a minute. Nope. Do I not have any speech? Hmm. No, I don't. Okay. That's unfortunate. Looks like I'll do it the road. We'll have to do it the hard way and just actually buy it. So, you're back. Pleasure doing business with you. All right, there we go. <clears throat> But I heard some uh, night stalkers. Uh, let's see. Do I have any science stuff? Yeah, I got science plus five here. All right. Have you found the components we discussed? There you go. Indeed you did, and they seem to be in excellent condition. The rockets are said to go, right? Yes. I'll tell Jason that the great journey can begin. Very nice. We have everything we need to launch the rockets, Jason. The great journey can begin. Gather all. May the Creator guide my words and help me speak true. The Almighty Creator has seen fit to answer our prayers. The time has come for us to board the rockets and begin the great journey. Though it may seem that all humans despise us, the Creator has seen fit to instruct us differently. The journey ahead would have been impossible if not for the intercession of two human friends. One you, the other a long abiding companion. To our new friend, we say thanks and promise never to forget how he cleared from our path the demons who sought to stay our journey. But to Chris, we owe more than thanks. Chris, you have made this great journey a reality. From this moment forward, you will be remembered as the saint of the great journey. We shall never forget you. I ask that you forgive us, Chris, and give us your blessing. And we bestow ours upon you. Seekers, board the rockets. Take your seats. The great journey awaits. To the promised land we go. To the far beyond. Did you hear him? 
My God, you were right all along. I'm no ghoul. They were just using me. They, they, uh, they take you if they could, Chris, but you'd die. And dying would be worse than this? Used up and thrown away like garbage? They're going to revere you as a saint, Chris. Oh, so I've redeemed the human race, is that it? What a crock. The human race can't stand me. That's not true, Chris. You're all right. So, you want me to accompany you on your adventures across the wasteland, is that it? There's a little town called Novak down the road. Life among humans again? That's what you're suggesting? I guess... I guess it's the only chance I've got. Maybe it'll be different this time. I was never a saint before. I can't believe I'm agreeing to this, but I'll give it a try. You go launch the rockets. I'm on my way to Novak. And he runs. Brilliant. So that's not the direction to go. Um... So it's not this way, it's this way, all right. Where to go? So we go up. Then we go this way. I honestly don't know if it was faster to go up the ladder and out into the world and then back into the building or just to go back up to the building. I don't really know. Where is my where is my science at? Oh no, I'm not gonna have enough. I'm not gonna have enough. enough no, I'm not gonna be able to to help them. All I'll be able to do is push the button. That's about it. Now here we go. This is the spot. So what we'll do is we'll consume one of these. And that puts me at 43. What if I do a second one? Nope, still at 43. Okay. So I need at least 55. Hmm. Ride of the Valkyries, I think that's what this is called. From Wagner. Right. Enough news of your good work to pass around to people like you. Oh, and I level? Brilliant. Alright, let's see here. So I'm at 14 points. Uh what's the point I wanna do here? Guns, medicine, survival, speech. Let's go with speech. And then um, this will go to 40. There we go. Yeah, I don't have any radio on, so there we go.
Okay, here we go. Oh, I'm lost. Of course I am. Ooh, I'll take this, though. Yeah, probably easier if I selected a quest, right? Uh, they, see, find out from many Vargas where the cons were headed. Okay. And another one. Well, that's not that easy. There we go. A couple of stealth boys. What is that? Oh, come on. Let me just get my piece of health, please. Thank you. There we are. There's a lot of doors in this place. I didn't realize how many doors there were. Oh, here we go. Now we're at the front door area. Brilliant. Oh, I forgot. Let's check this. I'll take a couple of those. Why not? All right. We are outside. We've outside. We helped the bright followers make their great journey. Let's see. Let's head on back here to Novak. So we're going to talk to Manny. And he should be able to tell us things. Here's my man here. This is Guy. Hey there. Hey there. What's going on? Uh, ooh. Upstairs? Oh, Manny's room. There we go. There he is. Do you have any luck with the ghouls? I'm counting on you. The ghouls are no longer at Repcon. Really? Unbelievable, man. I knew that wasn't going to be easy. But I had a good feeling about you. You look like you've been through a lot. Now, about the man I'm looking for. Okay. I'll tell you everything I know. Like I promised. The guy you're looking for, Benny, he was traveling with some members from my old gang. They were going to Boulder City. You know, idea, any idea why they went that way? No clue. I know Benny hadn't paid up yet. Maybe that was where they were supposed to get square. Where is Boulder City? It's straight up Route 93 from here. Just keep following the road north. That's all I needed to know. Hope that helps. I owed you. And yep, that's it. Yeah, see ya. See ya, Manny. I'm now idolized with Novak. Yay, I am liked. Hey. Hey, hey. So, let's go have a chat with Boone. Boone has a quest for us. <clears throat> Excuse me. God damn it. Don't sneak up on me like that. What do you want? Expecting visitors? Yeah, I guess maybe I am. But not like you. Huh. Maybe it should have been you I was expecting all along. Why are you here? 
If you're looking for someone in particular, I could tip you off if I see them. Yeah, well, you see anybody wearing Legion Crimson or a lot of sports equipment, you just let me know. You still haven't answered my question. I'm meeting new people. I think you better leave. <laughs> just make a friendly conversation. I don't have friends here. Well, I'm not from here. No. No, you're not, are you? Maybe you shouldn't go. Not just yet. Why is that? I need someone I can trust. You're a stranger. That's a start. What do you want? I want you to find something out for me. I don't know if there's anything to find, but I need someone to try. My wife was taken from our home by Legion slavers one night while I was on watch. They knew when to come, what route to take, and they only took Carla. Someone set it up. I don't know who. So you're trying to track down your wife? My wife's dead. I want the son of a bitch who sold her. What do I do if I find this person? Bring him out in front of the nest here while I'm on duty. I work nights. I'll give you my NCR beret to put on. It'll be our signal so I know you're standing with him. And I'll take care of the rest. I need to do this myself. I'll see what I can do to help you out. Good. I'll make it worth your while. And one more thing. We shouldn't speak again. Not until it's over. No one in town knows that I know what happened to my wife. Best they never know. Or the Legion will be after me next. How do you know your wife is dead? I know, alright. That's all you need to know. Yeah. Okay, let's go do this. Now, I know... Now, what you could do is walk around talking to everybody, right? How you doing? But since I kind of already know what I need to do, at least what I remember you doing. She's not here. That's good. We, the representative of the Consul Officorium, have this day bargained and purchased from Jeannie May Crawford of the township of Novak the exclusive rights to ownership and sale of Slave Car Laboon for the sum of 1,000 bottle caps, and those of her unborn child for the sum of 500 bottle caps. The receipt, therefore, is hereby acknowledged. We warrant the slave and her young to be sound, healthy slaves for life. We convenient, we combinate with this said uh, to Jeannie Mae Crawford that we have full power to bargain and sell said slave and her offspring. Payment in additional 500 bottle caps will be due pending successful maturation of the fetus and the claim of this and the claim to which shall be guaranteed by profession of this document. Yes. Jeannie Mae Crawford. Did business with the, with the Legion and sold Boone's wife and unborn child. And I do not know if Boone knew that she was pregnant with Boone's child. Or we could go the more scandalous route and go, was it actually Boone's child? Could she have been quite possibly doing some little side hustle? Or some side. No, yeah. She had a little something on the side that he didn't know about. Oh, Ranger. Okay, so. If... Alright, I suppose we should do what's actually the thing. Let's see. Um, Quest. One for my baby. Alright, so where is GMA Crawford's room? So Manny is over here. Nope. That's Boone's room. Can't go up there. Well, maybe she has a house. She might have a house, right? Right, 
Let's see, where is the house? Is it down here? I want to say it's this one. Yeah, this is one. Okay. What's in the what's in here? I'll take that. Okay, I just heard night stalkers. Let's get inside before we get eaten. There you are. Sleeping in your bed. With your clothes on. Tisk tisk. Hey there. Is everything all right? Awful late to be dropping in unexpected. What can you tell me about Boone's wife? How should I put it? I guess you could say she was kind of like a cactus flower. Real pretty to look at, but there was just no getting close to her. She never did take to living here. She liked the big lights and fast living of New Vegas. I got the feeling she was trying to get Boone to leave with her, but I guess she got tired of waiting. What's wrong with Boone? Nothing that wouldn't be wrong with any man who loses a wife, I suppose. Poor dear. I know he thinks she was kidnapped, but I'm not so sure she didn't just run off on her own. You could tell she was thinking about it ever since they arrived. Can I get some supplies? Go see Cliff Briscoe at the Dino Bite gift shop and tell him I sent you. I think he gets lonely standing around in that dino belly all day. He'll be glad for the company. Hmm. Oh, you know, come with me. There's something to, you should see in front of the dinosaur. Okay, if that's what you think. <laughs> Alright, better get that beret. Where's the beret? There it is. The way she walks is really awkward. I mean, yeah, I know there's only so much you can do with, uh, you know, animation back in the day. But it's still kind of funny. Now, if you do bring someone else other than her out in front of the dinosaur, and then Boone does his thing, and you tell him that they weren't the actual person... He'll get so mad at you. <laughs> He'll be so mad at you. Alright. Brutal. G May safe key. Return to the boon. Okay, so motorcycle hemorrhage is just completely broken, so we can't use that. But everything else seems to be okay. Of course, here's, uh, what's this guy? Victor. I keep forgetting his name. That's it then. How did you know? Found the bill of sale. I guess I shouldn't be surprised. It'd be like them to keep paperwork. Here. This is all I can give. I think our dealings are done here. What will you do after this? I don't know. I won't be staying, I know that. Don't see much point in anything right now, except hunting legionaries. Maybe I'll wander. Like you. Are you an outlaw now? No. People die out there. Often enough that no one worries about blame. They're too anxious to forget it happened in the first place, I guess. Besides, I was on break when it happened. Come with me. Let's go after the Legion. You don't want to do that. We kill more with the two of us. Yeah, that might be true. That's reason enough for me to take you up on it, I suppose. But this isn't gonna end well. Fine. Let's get out of here. Nice.
Now, it's been such a long time, I don't exactly remember what needs to be done to further his actual story. Like, I don't know if there's places I gotta go. I don't know if there's people I gotta talk to. I don't know if there's, like, a certain amount of time that he needs to be with me in order for him to, you know, open up and be all become buddy-buddy. I'm not certain. But, apparently, Eddie counts as a companion, and he counts as a companion. And I guess Eddie... Is Eddie like dog meat? Does Eddie kind of kind of set up like dog meat is, where he's not like he's he's technically a companion, but you can have another buddy with him. I I, I, don't, I don't know. Anyway, maybe you have one non-human companion and then a human companion, or I don't know. All right, so I don't know what I'm doing. What am I doing? Okay, so Boulder City's next. Eddie appears to have some enclave log data, log data stored and is, is triggered by some keywords. Spread the word of legion atrocities. Don't want to do that. Uh, let's see. Cast is drowned in sorrows in the Hawaii outpost. Everybody's just going to work with the Crimson Caravan. We got the Sea of Madre. Happy Trails. Let's see. I want to say this will take us to... Big Empty? The Big Empty? Big Mountain? Travel to the Canyon Wreckers near Prim. Okay, I think that's the Old World Blues? Is that what that is? Happy Trail sounds like the one that takes me to... Uh, what is that place called? Zion? Uh, what is it here? That one, too. Okay, that's Sierra Madre. That's the gambling one. Okay, yep, yeah, we'll get to uh, Boulder City and see what's going on. Might as well. Let's see here. It is dark o'clock. I thought I heard something like a vertebrate out in the distance, but that'd be entirely not right. Yes. Sure. Here's what I got. Kajit has wares if you have coin. Let's see here. Uh, do you got any 357? You got any magnums? Don't looking like it. Nope. Not looking like it. Mini nukes? Huh. Quite expensive. No, let's see here. I'm not using those. Or these. Or these. Or those. Do I even have a shotgun? I don't think I do. No, wait, uh, I do it when it's 20 gauge. Yeah, I don't have anything that uses 12 gauge. All right. Plasma Defender. Interesting. I could definitely use a stim pack. Okay. Gunmar's Arsenal. What is this? 25 millimeter GW APW long barrel? Alright. Oh, hello. Oh, wait, no. What is that? High Power Fist High Cap Bells? 
increases damage by eight or plus eight. Okay. Thanks. I think that's it right there. Stay safe. Uh, I'll try. I have, a, I have a real hard time being safe though. They tend to do silly dumb things. You know, we could go to um. You know, let's go over to uh, what is this place called? Um. Whoa, 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 whoa! What the h? Oh, okay. That's what's going on here. Legion assassins. Okay. Okay, they're tough. All right, let's um. Let's do something a little bit tougher. Let's do a little. Uh, Wow, okay, that is not tough at all. Alright. Wow. Oops, don't hit don't wanna hit you. Let's sit there. You know, I'm not doing any damage to these guys. At all. Come up from behind. Eh, uh, somewhat. I'm now hated by the Legion. Now they're gonna send us I'm vilified. Your well your overwhelmingly monstrous behavior you become vilified with the community. No, not the community. These guys are ass assins. Because you have to be double the ass in order to be an assassin. Or twice the ass to be an assassin. And of course we got the big guy over here. Oh, uh, let's see. Let's go see what's going on at, uh... Oh, I forgot what this place is called. Huh. She even said the name. Elena Gibson said the name and I don't even remember it. How silly of me. Helios 1. Oh, yeah, okay, yes, that's the one. So the the NCR is controlling this place. Cool. This is a restricted area. State your business. Oh, okay. Uh, let's see. I saw this place in a distance and just wanted to investigate. Or you're a Legion spy trying to infiltrate our perimeter. Give me one good reason I should let you through. I notice your solar tower isn't collecting as much sunlight. I can help. No need. We already have an expert hard at work on it. Then again, our expert is an idiot. Hell, Balls. he might as well be a saboteur. I guess you couldn't do any worse. Have him fill you in on the details. He's in the back of the building. You'll know him when you see him. He keeps his sunglasses on all the time. Even when he's sleeping. Uh, shouldn't there be more people than this defending a power plant? There should. But we're not getting much power out of it, so none of our enemies have big interest in it either. Not like Hoover Dam, anyway. We had a real fighting force here just long enough to take it from the Brotherhood of Steel. Then they got sent east to the dam like everybody else. Caesar's Legion sends skirmishers every so often, prodding for weaknesses mostly. The reality is, if they really wanted it, we'd all be dead. Why is the brother why was the Brotherhood of Steel here? Damned if I know. Put up a hell of a fight, though. 
We had them outnumbered, I don't know, 20 to 1, maybe? They held out as long as they could, lost most of their force before they retreated. Gave us a little parting gift, too. They had some of the plant running, but they shut it all down. Enabled an old security system, too, to keep us away from the controls. <sighs> Jerk-offs. Well, it, hope I have high science. I, I don't. I got, like, maybe, what, like, 40 science? <laughs> I, I didn't have enough science to help the ghouls at, at, at the Repcon facility, um, you know, so. Yeah, no, I don't have high science. Uh, why are you here, not the front lines? Isn't that more important? I ask myself the same question all the time. But energy is hard to come by around here. Gives you more control over this area than troops ever could. Hell, if we lose the dam to the Legion, this little plant may be our last stand. Later. All right, Lieutenant. Inside we go. So I believe the guy that's in here we're looking for, his name is Fantastic or something like that. Some some obnoxious thing like that. It's been a, quite a while. Anything in here I can pilfer, plunder, or pillage? Hi. Hi. May want to wait then? Okay. Well, we do have the quest. So if, if you're suggesting that I need a high, high science skill... Then we could we could come back here at a later date. We could just fast travel. That wouldn't be too much of a problem. Okay. It's been a while since I played, so I don't really remember. I do remember. I do remember that I repair the. I can repair these uh, little, uh, I guess, solar collectors here that shine light onto the actual tower. I do remember that. Um, That's pretty much all I remember. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know, I know, I know, I know enough to know that I don't know enough. There you go. All right, let's see. Is it? I think there's a whole bunch of ants out here that we could just take down for some experience. It's part of our little travels here. Is Boone still with me? Yes, he is. Boone is chilling. Being Boone. I'm not seeing them. Oh, hello. Okay, I hear something. Something. I hear no. Good job, Boone. Pinpoint accuracy. Like, oh, I'll take that. I could use that to repair my armor. Oh, he's got a bunch of stuff on him already. Okay. Got the whole, it's funny. You got the whole NCR sucking in my teeth. It's it feels so good. Fant fantastic. Oh, he did say that, doesn't he? Oh, that's ridiculous. I'm watching this stream because uh, Linux doesn't work on AMD currently. Oh wow. 
was there some kind of change or something like that or is it just has it been a has it just been a thing because i hear that there's some games that, that work just fine on xbox but don't work at all on playstation I just remembered I was going to take this. There we go. Lame update. Lame new update with AMD drivers. Hopefully fixed soon. Until then. <laughs> well, I'm glad to be here. I played this game years ago when it first came out. But I hadn't... Uh, I, I finished the core game, right? But I hadn't played since... Um, what is it? Since all the DLC came out. So it's been quite a while. So there's so much I just don't remember. Take him out. Eat this. these guys out here. Look at these giant bugs. Can I go down this hole? No, I cannot. I do remember there being a hole in the ground. I do remember there's a there was an ant hole I could go into. What the heck? Can't run from me. I've had 11 copies on disc and I play at least once a week. Wow. You must have a lot of experience then. You have a lot, a lot of knowledge and experience about the game. You could you could share that with people. You know, you could just uh, you could make videos on it, you could stream it. Teach, you know, teach uh, returning players, you know, help returning players remember things or help, help new players. Us dummies out here trying to try to figure things out on our own. Kind of like what I do with Fallout 4. Man, I cannot hit to save my life. There we go. Only one ant mound in the north to enter. Is that outside of Vegas? Near um, uh, Cassidy's destroyed caravan? It's like near a big house or something, or like a barn or something like that. Ooh, what's this over here? Oh, right there in front of me, I'm so silly. What am I looking at? Who's getting attacked? You like that? Hey there. What's going on? 
you were on fire and you seemed okay with it. That's kind of weird. Yep, this looks like uh, things did not go well here. Oh, yes. Awesome. Yeah, it's like I'm... And it'll, it'll just help one dead. <laughs> well, I mean, it's been a long time. I haven't seen these in for a while, but um, there was always the, like, the books for dummies, you know, like, you know, computer programming for dummies or this for dummies or that for dummies. It was, it was a silly book, you know. Well, not silly. It was just kind of give you the information. Um, is this guy, I, let's see here. I forget his name. Our Wilson guys Rifter. put the monorail back to work. I watched a video where this guy supposedly is the son of the mysterious, what's his name? Stranger? Is that the guy's name? New Vegas for dummies. Yeah, exactly. Howdy, little lady. I like his voice. He's got a really good voice. What's your story, stranger? My story's a long one, friend, and I can't say as it's all that interesting. Nevertheless, I'm interested. Well, I was born in a little town out Montana way. Me and Ma didn't have much ever since my pa up and left. Father abandoned you? That he did. Never did know why. Ma always said he was a real mysterious fella, even when he was with her. Like he was a stranger sometimes. Sounds like you miss him. Is that why you're out here wandering? Maybe. Maybe I just never felt like I belonged back home. Must have been hard growing up without a father. It sure wasn't easy. Ma worked her fingers to the bone to make sure we had enough to survive. And I worked the coal mines from when I was 15. After Ma died, I guess I wanted to find my pa and get some answers from him. Been out here looking ever since. But he ain't an easy man to find. What will you do if you find him? Can't say as I really know. Maybe I'll just ask him why. Maybe I'll punch him right in the mouth. Hell, the more I talk about it, the more the whole damn thing sounds like a dumb idea. Uh, put points in the speech and signs if you want. Very helpful. Ah, okay. Yeah, I mean, speech is... Listen, I played, uh, I played the Outer Worlds. Is that what it is? The Outer Worlds? And it's they the developers talked about how creating a speech system that wasn't, you know so easily cheesed so you could just kind of get by get by and do everything you want you know i kind of i was even had a thought at some point in the past where if there was like a, a speech build that you could do in skyrim that would get you out of um get you through the game without having to do much fighting kind of like a pacifist kind of thing and it would be it would be called the skyrism because you're trying to riz people with your speech but yeah that was just a silly thought I had. Sounds like you should have moved on. Settle down, maybe. Maybe I should. Don't suppose you know any place a fellow with a guitar might find a job, huh? Can't say that I do. Sorry. Ah, uh, well, it was worth a shot. Hmm. So long, friend. So I imagine if I go to New Vegas, I'll talk to somebody looking for... I don't remember... Someone in Vegas is looking for someone to play a guitar or to entertain, but I don't remember where. I think it's one of the casinos. And I go, I find that person looking for someone to play, to entertain or play music. And then I come back and talk to him. He'll probably be able to get a job up there. It's been quite a long time, but I, I remember that being, I do remember that being a thing. So if I can remember him, hopefully. I have a, I have a tendency to forget things after a few minutes. Not because, um, you know, I have a, a memory issue, but I get distracted easily. If if you ever if anybody ever saw my play uh, stream Fallout Four, um, something I'll be talking about a thing, and then like I see something off on the side or whatever, or in the distance, I go, "Ooh, what's that?" And I just kind of move toward it. It's like, "Ooh, shiny thing," or or what is it? A squirrel? You know, I'm like I'm like, like kind of like a dog sometimes, where I just see something and I want to go out of it. What is this? Oh, is this a bunch of... Is this just a bunch of rock flower over here? What is this? What is... Oh, wait, that's not it. Oh, it's a honey mesquite. Okay, never mind. See, I just did that right there. I saw a plant, didn't know what it was, walked right over it. Alright, so... Oh, Baldur's a... Baldur? 
Boulder, Balder, not Balder, Boulder is over here. Now, I do remember Victor showing up pretty soon. I think he comes from over there. At least I remember him coming from over there. We got some critters over here. Yo, dog. Well, anyway, let's go over here. Ooh, ah. Places to explore. Whoa, where the hell did you come from? Were, were you, was that bird just on the road and I didn't see it? Because it looked like he just magically just flew out of the road. It startled me, to be honest. All right. Big Horn Saloon. Wish I had a first recon guy looking after me. You here to pay your respects to? If I get a chance, go back to Novak? Oh, interesting. What... What is this memorial? It commemorates the Battle of Hoover Dam. The Rangers lured the best of Caesar's Legion into Boulder City and then blew the whole town up. The NCR still lost a bunch of troops in the fighting, though. My older brother sacrificed himself so they could evacuate some of the wounded. Where are you normally stationed? Camp McCarran, but I'm on leave at the moment, heading back to California to see my folks. I'm supposed to join up with a caravan that's heading that way up at the 188. They're not due to arrive for a while yet. Oh, save and shoot. Oh, uh, save and shoot the memorial. Bye. Okay. What the fuck are you doing? My brother <laughs> died at the Battle of Hoover Dam. You're desecrating a war memorial. My apologies. It was rude and disrespectful of me to do that. All right. Apology accepted. Don't let it happen again. Bye. Whoa, whoa, careful! Contact. Oh, that's it. Your ass is mine. <laughs> this guy's not happy. <laughs> oh, and nobody went hostile. Oh, that's cool. And I got experience, but I got 30 experience for passing the speed check. And then I got another 30 experience. Okay, I'm not I'm not the terrible human person. Let's 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 uh let's let's not do that. I'm playing somewhat of a good guy, but that's hilarious. You had no idea that was the case. I didn't know that was a thing that could happen. Wow, that was pretty good. <laughs> oh, it's a shotgun in the back. Like on the inside of the saloon?
Hey, hey, thanks for letting me know about the shotgun. That's pretty cool. Uh, let's see here. Oh, I saw a... Oh, I suppose I should do something about the cons, huh? Uh, let's just put this to use, I suppose. Okay. Yeah. What the heck? Oh, it's just a skeleton. Never mind. Just a random skeleton. We've got a situation with some great cons right now. The brass I'm carrying has ordered me to lock down the ruins until it's been resolved. What's going on with the Great Khans? One of my patrols was on its way back from Novak when it came under fire from the Great Khans. They radioed for reinforcements, but instead of waiting for us, they chased the Khans into the ruins where they were caught in a crossfire. No deaths, but not all the squad got out. The Khans have Private Ackerman and Private Gilbert as hostages. Uh, Quartz and Victory only in Novak. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, the Great Cons have something of mine, a platinum chip. I might be able to negotiate a deal with the Great Cons. I could sneak in and try to get your people out. What are you, what are you gonna do about the hostages? Um, the Great, yeah, Great Cons have, might have something of mine. Once the Great Cons have been killed or captured, you're welcome to retrieve any property they've taken from you. I might, I may be able to negotiate a deal with the Great Cons. Normally I'd turn you down since I have no idea who you are. Considering that the hostages are as good as dead when we attack. All right. I'm going to give you a chance to talk to the Great Khans. Their leader is a man named Jessup. If we hear shooting, we'll be coming in. But it'll probably be too late for you. Lols. I understand. Good luck. <laughs> He's just going to let me go in there and get shot. I love it. They're like, oh, the door's right here and I walked right past it. I'm so smart. Negotiate if high speech speech high enough. Uh, let's see here. Probably not. Probably not. Let's see here. Uh, ch -ch -ch -ch. Where are we at? Where are we at? Speech. Oh, speech is at fifty. And I. Oh, but I don't have any. Um... Nope. I don't have any speech books. Oh, I know. I could use some whiskey. Maybe that might help. I'll, use, I'll try the whiskey to see that might help. Maybe enough, maybe. Yeah. Well, if not, you know, we'll get, you know, we'll get experience if we successfully speech. But if not, then we'll get experience by, um, well, ripping it from their bodies. Like a... Anyway, yeah. <laughs> Alright, so right now everybody's... Friendly. Nobody's hostile towards me, which is a good thing. Alright, so there's the hostages. Whiskey is how you met your wife, so yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, there you go. There you go. Hey, we got a testimonial about whiskey being effective. There you go. Alright, let's see here. What the hell? You're that courier Benny wasted back in Good Springs. You're supposed to be dead. Well, I'm not. <laughs> I got better. <laughs> That's funny. I got better. And here I thought us great cons were tough to kill. So, what happens now? Where's the platinum chip? Don't have it. Benny stole it right before he stabbed us in the back. He's probably back at the strip by now laughing at me. Hmm. Let's talk about settling things between you and the NCR. What's the negotiate? The NCR backs off, we walk out of here, nobody gets hurt. Oh, there we go. Speech is high enough. Free, free the hostages now, and I'll have the NCR escort you out of their territory. I can't believe I'm doing this. But all right, the hostages can go. The NCR had better keep their end of the deal, though. Here, a souvenir for you. It's Benny's lighter. Shove it up his ass when you catch up with him. <laughs> Goodbye. Yeah, go on. All right. You know what? Let's increase my. You said uh, science. Science. Let's increase the science. And let's see. Repair. It needs to be increased as well. Lockpick is okay, I suppose. Uh, 
All right, which one do I want? Mysterious stranger, maybe. Repair later. Yeah. Oh, strong back for the weight. Stone wall for the can't be knocked down in combat. Finesse. Ooh. That's an idea. Have a higher chance to score critical hits on opponents in combat, equivalent to five extra points of luck. That sounds pretty fun. This one, this one's just disastrous. Misfortune, mysterious stranger, nerd rage, night person. Strong back is good. Yeah, it's always good to have increased carry weight. I know there's like certain. Yeah, isn't there a? Uh, Is there a perk or is it a perk or an implant? You know, if you have a, if you have a, I think it might be a perk. You have a perk. If you carry so much, then like it, items are reduced by half or like the weight of items are reduced by half or something like that. Strength is good. Yeah. Uh, commando, this is what? Well, using a rifle. I like rifles a lot. So this would probably be one to do. Toughness, increased damage threshold. Pack rat? That might be the one you're that might be the one I'm thinking of, yeah. Oh, what is it? Probably need strength of a certain height. Here we are. I need um five intelligence, 70 barter. Oh, okay. That's what 70 barter, yeah. So you learn the value of careful packing. Items weigh of two or less weigh half as much for you. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, that one's cool. Rapid reload, yeah, reloading pretty fast is good. You know, we'll go with toughness because I mean, less damage I take, right? The less healing I do, which means the more healing items last longer. So you know what? Yeah, we'll, we'll go with toughness. Yeah, let's do that. All right, now there's a few things in here I can collect. I can just loot up in here. Speaking of being a pack rat. Oh, well, this is a good. He didn't. He didn't last that long. Damn. I don't know if I take those, they'll probably be very upset with me. All right. Let's go see if I can. Uh, Convince the NCR to let them go. Naval intelligence? Ooh. I'll have to look at that one. Nice. You doing okay there, my guy? You got that? You, you're just off in the distance there, thinking about something. What's up? I'm glad you're able to get my people freed, but there's a new problem. I just got orders to take out the Great Cons, hostages or not. Yeah, the Great Cons let the hostages go in exchange for their own freedom. My hands are tied. I can't go against orders, can I? Ooh. Oh man, I, if I want to say you have integrity, then you'll honor the deal. Uh, I'll try this one to see if it works. You're right. The great cons are free to go. Nice. All right. Yay, I'm now accepted by the NCR. Two of five. Brilliant, and I gained fame. Great cons fame, brilliant. And I've gained karma. Yay, I'm the good guy. <laughs> oh yeah, no, it was Navy. It was Navy, absolutely. I, I've, I, I've met some. Oh man, I, I don't want. I'm not, I'm not a fan of calling people dumb, but I've met some folks that would qualify as dumb.
Man, there's a oh damn, there's a lot of bodies up here. What the heck happened? Oh, service. Oh, here we go. Ranger hat. Ranger. Oh, okay. <clears throat> We're cut off from the rest of the platoon. And there are legionnaires all over the place. There's no chance we can get out here before they blow the town. So we're going to hold out against them as long as we can. If anyone ever gets this, I'd like to make sure that Pre Jeffrey Hugh okay, and, Pre and Corporal Marcus Christensen are commended for their valor and sacrifice. Both have upheld the ideals and honor of the new California Republic with the distinction. Ranger Teresa Lutz out. Damn. Battle of Boulder City. Right. I'm gonna take that service rifle because I'm the bad guy. I'm a, I'm a, was it? I'm a pack rat. There we go. Uh, is there any other ones around here? Ooh. I wonder how. Oh, wait a minute. 50 guns? I'm, I'm not at 50 guns, am I? No, I'm at 35 guns. Okay. It's interesting, you know, the. Because, you know, the melee. The melee. Like, Chance's knife here, it requires 50 as well. So I need to get my guns up to be able to use this more effectively. But that's probably the reason why the damage is so low, is because my, my guns isn't high enough. Go to Novak. <laughs> Alright, let's go back to Novak. See what's going on there. Alright. Are you the ones we met on the road? Wait, where's the merchant? Is the merchant dead? How did I find Chance's knife? Oh, um, Dinobite? Oh, okay. Uh, we'll see here. Um, uh, what I did was. I was kind of curious about melee because when I first played through the game, I never, I never did melee. I did all guns. I did guns and I did energy weapons, and I was just curious about melee. And so I just kind of Google, I mean, Google, I searched up on YouTube like melee weapons, and one of the first videos I saw was them talking about Chance's knife, and this person actually showed like the most direct route to it, and I just went and got it, and I avoided the, um, I avoided the Cazadors. I was able to avoid the Cazadors or any kind of combat, and it was great. Welcome. Come on in. Come on in. The water is fine. Cliff! I don't know if you know, but since Jeannie May passed, I've been keeping an eye on her properties for her. I think it's time we gave everything back to you, so take this key and make yourself at home at our motel. It'll open the room on the second floor, closest to the lobby. Hope it suits you. Oh. Oh, I got a free room. Nice. Uh, go through the door and sneak. Okay. All right, cool. Jeannie Mae sent me? Bless her. Seems like every traveler I get in here tells me the same thing. They see the sign and think, gift shop? That's just too good to be true. But Jeannie Mae always points them back in my direction. Well, a friend of Jeannie's is a friend of mine, and my friends get a discount at my store. Oh, nice. Oh, no, I don't want to tell her that one. <laughs> I don't want to tell her that one. <laughs> Alright, so sneak. Oh my lord, this place is stacked. Oh, radiation. Hello. To the right of the fourth shelf. Oh. Oh, I see.
Oh, okay. Let's see what this, let's see what that gun does. What is what is that gun? Twenty four damage. Seventy five damage per second. That's actually pretty good. And it's five five six. Uh, of course, it's it's the it's it's the infamous fifty skill that I need to use. Okay. Oh, interesting. It's got a little glow on it. That's nice. Yeah, definitely looks like. Oh, let me put that away. Welcome. Come on in. <laughs> that gun, yeah. Nice. Blade Run reference. Oh, interesting. Okay. Oh, you know what? I don't know. I'm trying to. Yeah, no, I've only seen a couple of clips from Blade Runner. So I haven't watched the entire movie. But that is that is the second uh, that is the second movie reference in the game that I've seen. Um what is going on down here? These folks are they're everywhere. What the heck? Are you walking on air? What are you doing? Oh, he was. That's funny. Hey there. Need anything? Yes, do you have something? Sure. Here's what I got. Oh, sweet. I need some more. I need some more of this ammo. You're just dis you're disappointed? I know. I know. I mean, there are plenty cuz I know my parents watched it. But much like much like being a kid, you know, I'm not really too interested in what my parents watched. But I imagine I can go on Amazon or maybe on YouTube and find find the movie. I haven't watched the I haven't, didn't I haven't watched the new new Blade Runner either. So, or well, the more the more uh, the remake I should call it that. That's probably the best thing to say. Now right, let's see what else we got here. Any five five six? There we are. Nice. Uh, let's see what else do I not want. Both are amazing. Yeah, I, I've seen clips of the CGI from the uh, from the new from the remake. I don't watch a lot of movies anymore, but uh, I did when I was younger. But I mean, but yeah, like the seeing the clips from the remake, it seems pretty cool. What's my lock picking at? That's a good question. Fifty maybe. Lock picking is oh forty three. So I'm not quite the 50 yet. So I'm accepted. In, how, wait, if Boulder City is just a, if, if if Boulder City is a ruin, how am I accepted there? I don't understand. Oh, that's right. They did mention Nelson. Nelson. Okay, anyway, so... Ugh, pardon me, that was a yawn. <laughs> uh, so I have to... It's going to be quite a journey to get up there. So I guess uh, this is the closest. Oh, I hear gunfire off in the distance. Everybody's favorite thing to hear. <laughs> a lot of the movies I watched when I was when I was in the military was mostly just comedy. Like um there was a there was a there was there was a like a documentary called March of the Penguins. Well uh um what's his name? Ron not Ron White, um Oh, I forget his name. I said Bob Saget and like a handful of other comedians got together and kinda re and kinda dubbed over March of the Penguins. 
and they called it Farce of the Penguins, which was quite hilarious. Um, I watched, uh, was it The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy? I thought that was hilarious. I thought that was really funny. Let's see. Um... Also, during that time when I was in the military, I watched a lot of anime, too. A lot of anime. And, hello? Oh, crap. I didn't even see that scorpion. Good job, Boone. I did not see that scorpion at all. Scared me, though. But much like with movies, as I got older, I started watching less and less anime. But yeah, fixing airplanes was fun, especially on the carrier. Where are we going here? Oh, I'm walking right towards back there. Bullet train is good. Mm. This way. I wonder if I can even get on this. Is this train even enterable? Can I enter the train or is it just there? Nope. Doesn't look like it. I bet much like Fallout 4, I could play this game for hundreds of hours and still not find everything, right? That's kind of what that's kind of what Bethesda and uh, others kind of do with their games. You just put a whole bunch of stuff in there that, even after so many hundreds of hours, you don't find. Oh, your dad works on the helicopters in the Navy. Nice. There was a I I, I did a short uh, I did a short I did a one year um, I did one year in the National Guard, and the the unit I was with, uh, they worked on the Chinook helicopters. And most of this time that they did was kind of, they did like a little bit of like, they did kind of like fire stuff, like fire suppression kind of thing. And they had recently gotten back from, um, what was it? Afghanistan? Yeah, they recently got back from Afghanistan. And then they were going to go off to Egypt to do some training with the Egyptians. Got a good turn for the NCR, and now we'd like to do one for oh, you. Oh, damn. There's an NCR emergency two-way radio. You call, and we'll come run it. You're not alone out here. The NCR has your back. Stay safe and good hunting. Nice. Well, I suppose that will help me out quite well when we get attacked by the Legion. The great trade up ahead under the bridge? Oh, okay. Veronica. Hey. Veronica. Oh, she was always my favorite companion. She just she just rushed right up onto a death claw and just start punching it. That's just, that that takes balls. All right, so up under the bridge here, over the overpass. Oh damn, rescue diver and helo operator. Oh, that's 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 some stuff. Yeah, me, I was just a pansy ass. Me, I was a I wasn't that kind of tough. I was a, I was a, I was a pansy ass aircraft electrician. Yeah. Let's see here. How many we got here? Okay, you got a guy with a gun. You got another guy. And then we got, we got this person. Hi. The forecaster. Hello, ma'am. I hope you're doing fine today. Where are your parents, kid? Are you all alone here? I don't have a mama or papa anymore. I see them sometimes when I take off my medicine, but they can't stay. I'm pretty used to being on my own. I'd like to see what you have for sale. Oh, I don't sell things, ma'am. I sell thoughts. Thoughts? <laughs> I just thought of the word thought, but it has a different spelling. I can take off my medicine and do some thinking. People say it's real interesting. I don't know, because I never hear it. Some people say that it's a gift. Other people say it's the kind of thinking anyone could do if they watched more than they talked. I don't know which is true. I see a lot. I think a lot. There's a lot to hear through the 188, too. That maybe accounts for the thinking. What is your medicine and how do you take it off? This thing on my head is headache medicine. It works real good, except I can't think when it's on. Really think, I mean. You don't sell the junk behind you? That's not junk. That's other people's thoughts. People had to think to make them, and the thoughts got stuck inside. 
I need other people's thoughts to fill my head when I'm not thinking myself. Otherwise, it's kind of empty. The world trainer to the right of the kid. You guys will get. <laughs> of course, of course. The forecaster, huh? Interesting. A panther caps to hear your thoughts. Great. What do you want me to think about? I can think about you here or everywhere. What do you want? Hmm. Okay, let's do the let's do the everywhere. Let me take off my medicine. Bull and bear over the dam at each other's throats. But a light from Vegas? Ball spinning on the wheel. More than two at the table. Placing bets. All lose in different ways. A dam of corpses. Towns of corpses. Scattered across the sand. But whose? In what shares? Even the dealer doesn't know. Forecast? A rain of blood will flood the desert and not purify it. Blah. Thinking about everywhere always makes me feel a little sick. Oh, oh wait. Uh oh, I think I think the texture on his uh, headache medicine there went a little bit south. All right, I might be interested in buying your headache medicine. How much? Thinking hurts you too. Huh? I wish I could let you have the one on my head, but I can't. It hurts real bad when I don't wear it. How do you know these things? Oh, I don't know anything, ma'am. I just think it, and then I don't. Hmm. So long. Okay, so let's... Okay, let's go talk to the, the vendor, to, the, to these guys. Okay. You are just... Oh, you're... Gun, oh, gun runner. Gun runner weapons is high, so don't expect them to stay in stock for very long. Okay. Is there some reason I should be talking to you? I have caps. I'd like to see what you have for sale. Am I selling? Yeah. Am I selling to you? No. Sorry to hurt your feelings, but you're small time. Move along. Oh, I see. So where can I buy some weapons? There's usually a gun merchant hanging around topside. I'm sure she'll take care of you. So I need guns of at least 40. So I'll have to level that as well. So you're a gun runner. Like you have a clue what that even means. Tell me about the gun runners. The gun runners have been putting rapid fire death dealing in the hands of anyone who needed to defend himself for over a century. We're the NCR's number one supplier of weapons and ammunition. You might call us an unofficial branch of the army. What do you do? I'm a salesman. I swing through McCarran and the dam once a week or so to take orders. But lately, I spend most of my time in this piss heap. Ever since the 15 shut down, all caravans come through here, right to me. I check the stock and direct deliveries onward to meet orders. Sure, it stinks to hang out here, but it won't be forever. Plus, I can afford a monthly bender on the strip and still build up my nest egg. Tell me about the Gunrunner caravans. Not much to tell. A Brahmin or two loaded up with weapons and a whole mess of well-armed guards to make sure it ends up where it's supposed to. One nifty bit, though. The gun cases are rigged to explode, so trying to loot one of our caravans doesn't do much good. And that's how the NCR stays equipped. The only thing we don't bring in is energy weapons. Oh, interesting. Why don't you deal in energy weapons? We used to, but every caravan carrying them was getting ambushed and wiped out. By someone sophisticated enough to know which was which. We think it was the Brotherhood of Steel. Those crazies always go hard for energy weapons. But the NCR would rather pretend they killed all of them. I think that's the Van Graffs that are doing that. Time for me to go. Later. Alright, what do we got here? Hey. Oh, you're a cons. Okay. You're probably the people that... Oh, hello. Are you a con? Who are you? That is one battered eye bot. It's a miracle it's still functioning. You're a named person. The gun runners ought to help the followers by donating some of that firepower they've got. Wish the followers would get me some better armor. 
<laughs> like how he just shuffles like there when I'm slowly rotating around him. <laughs> Alright, there's a vendor up here. So I need to have at least 40 guns before I can actually start buying from him. Okay. Did they notice? Samuel! Put the monorail back to work. You have a voice that does not match what I expect you to sound like. But hey, what, who am I to judge? Welcome to the 188 Slopping Shop. Like our slogan says, <laughs> it's better than nothing. Man, he's drinking a lot of whiskey. Damn. I need something repaired. Let me see what I can do. Oh, the ranger hat. Oh, it's pretty, pretty low there. Although I can pretty much repair it rather inexpensively. Well, vendors behind bar. Okay. Man, that's quite expensive, this stuff over here. You bet. Hmm. Come back soon now. Oh, interesting. Hey. What's going? Is it Michelle? Michelle? Welcome to the 188 Slop and Shop. How can I help you? Oh, let's see what you got for sale. Have a look. Oh, there we go. And some more stuff here. Brilliant. Uh, 20 gauge, 38 special, and 357. We'll go with that. Uh, let's see. Aid, do you have... No, you don't have any stim packs. Man, stim packs are hard to get, come by for some reason. A lot of food, though. Grilled mantis, it's 30 health a second. Or 1 health per second for 30 seconds. Ramen steak. Give me a shot if you need anything else. So who are you? Name's Michelle. My dad and me run this store. His name's Samuel. I take the day shift and he takes nights. We came here about a month ago when Prim went to hell on account of the prison break north of there. Found a bin to call home and set up shop. 38 special works for 357? Oh, interesting. You know what the funny thing is? The voice that she had before she started talking was different than the boy she did when she was talking. There's more to the 188 than meets the eye. Troops move back and forth on 93 all the time, and 95 is how NCR folks come and go from Vegas. No shortage of customers, so long as Legion raids south of here don't get worse anyways. Hmm, why is this place called the 88? You do know these old roads were numbered, right? We're standing where the 95 and 93 meet. And 95 plus 93 equals 188. I, I just got a math lesson. I feel, I feel, I feel, I feel bad. What do you know about the Legion raids? Not much. I hear some folks got killed down by Nelson. Or was it Novak? I don't know. If they come up this way, me and Dad will go someplace else. Later. Yeah, the voice is different. All right. Oh, the lights of New Vegas. Let's see, just whoop, whoop the road. I guess technically I just I could just follow this road right here. Just follow the highway up and we'll be there. Okay, so Crimson Caravan Company, there. Freeside Northgate is there. Camp McCarran is down there. Let's see, so it mentioned Nelson. What was that? Was that you? Did you make that noise? Because I heard a growl. It is dark. I'm kind of worried about Night Stalkers. Oh, anyway, so Nelson. Let's go. Let's go to Nelson. What are going on there? I never do remember that there was some people that we could rescue. Maybe I don't know if we can rescue them or we kill them. I don't know which one it is. 
There's also a cave there, too. There's like a cave with a guy inside. I can't remember who he is, but... Yeah, there's something there. That... The growl was you? Oh, I'm, I'm terrified. Oh no, he's in. Not, he's not only is he on the screen, but he's in in the walls too. He's standing behind me. What is that? Was oh, that just a car? Yeah, isn't there a isn't there a cave with a guy inside? Oh, maybe it's a different place. It might be an entirely different place. Okay. Because I remember there's a there's a cave on the side of a road, and there's a guy inside, but I don't remember where that exact location is. All right, what's going on here? Hold up there. This area is locked down by the NCR military until we can dislodge some Legion snakes from Nelson. The name's Patronus. Oh heck, I've heard of you. You're supposed to be a regular hero or something, ain't that right? But maybe you're a little too reputable to get involved in some dirty work for the Republic. I won't do anything dishonorable, if that's what you mean. Are you interested in cracking jokes or getting something done? <laughs> dishonorable. That's a good one. Okay, then. You could just turn around and head back toward Novak or wherever it is you came from. I wouldn't want you to get any dirt under your fingernails or tarnish your good name or whatever the heck you're so worried about. If you want to do some good, head up to Camp Forlorn Hope. I'll mark it on your map for you. Oh, interesting. We're getting close to Nelson. Any closer, I'm shooting any legionary I see. Hope that's not a problem. No, that's not a problem. That's a solution. Damn right. You and I, we're just a couple of problem solvers. Yeah, let's start. Let's, you know, let's go solve some problems. Actually, we talked to this guy here. Let's see. Howdy. What's the word? You sure you don't want my help with the legion? I sent you packing last time for a reason. Why should I let you in now? I really like to help. And what's the worst that could happen? Nelson stays captured. Good point. Anyway, it's your hive. Guess I should take all the help I can get. If you had a few dozen doses of psycho on you, maybe we could pep those weepy troopers into charging down into Nelson and taking back the camp. But since that's not likely, you could help me take out the Legion's trooper hostages. Sign me up. Good. We clear out the hostages, they lose their advantage. They're down in a clearing, crucified on some telephone poles. I'll cover you from the ridge. Just make it quick. These boys should be put out of their misery, not plink to death with some old varmint rifle. And don't get any dreamy notions about playing the hero and dragging these boys out. You'll get swarmed. Now let's go. Oh, well, let's see here. To hell with mercy killing. We're getting those guys out of there. No, nope, don't want that one. Nope, not that one. Nope, not that one. Contact. I stepped on a bomb. <laughs> Hello. Save the hostages. Be the hero. Absolutely. We'll try doing that. Uh, I stepped. On, I stepped. I stepped on a bomb. I should have said that. I should have stepped on a landmine. That's what I did. Uh, let's see here. Yeah. I am now not in the good. Where you at? Alright, come at me, bros. You know what? You know what? Why not? We'll do this, uh, we'll do this the fun way. We'll do this the fun way. Let's do a little, let's have a little fun with this. What's going on, guys? What's going on? Where you guys at? Somebody want to, uh... Who wants to talk? Let's talk. Let's talk. Let's get close. Let's have a little chat. Come on. Let's, uh... Boy, what you got? What's going on? What's going on, my guy? Hey, how you doing? How you doing? Sorry, dog. Not a fan of getting tacked. 
Hmm, I think that might be all of them. Alright, so... Wait, where is the... Where are the good guys? Over here? Here they are. Our guys put the monorail back to work. Mercy killings. There they go. Resort. Glad you recognized we had options. How's my day? My day, my day was very, my day was rather busy. Like it was so busy, I didn't even get to have a chance to have lunch. I ate at seven I ate at seven a.m. and I got home a little bit after six o'clock. And man, my. <laughs> It was a busy day. There was a lot of nonsense going on all at once. But we got it done. The Mojave, and, oof. Oh, my legs were tired. Everything everything felt tired. I work in a warehouse where I, I drive forklifts, but a good part of my job involves me walking around and carrying things that are kind of heavy. Uh, unique machete in the bunkus. But, uh... I can't say that word. And I'm just relaxing. Chilling. Killing. Our guys put the monorail back to work. Hello? Alright, let's see here. Where's the guy? Our guys put the monorail back to work. Bunk oh, the bunkhouses. Oh, okay. Why am I why am I blind? Back in Nelson? Okay. Hello. Where did the guy go? Oh, he's near the rocks? You know, I probably look, should look at the compass, right? It might tell me exactly what I want to know, right? Okay, there he is. Basically, yeah, I want to talk to the ranger so I kind of rub it in his face. Look, I saved them. Aren't I amazing? Ha ha ha. the word looks like I was again looks like I was able to get a few hostages out alive I have to admit I didn't think you could do it guess that makes me the sap and you the hero I'm not authorized to pay for contract work but here's something for the effort and I'll make sure everyone hears about what you did thanks yay three of five brilliant and I guess a good chunk of XP too nice okay so Overlooking Nelson. Okay, which one of these is it? Uh, here? Nope, this is a house. Oh, it's dark in here. I'm scared of the dark. The dark might hurt me. Ooh, a nice bed. Ooh, I can sleep in that bed. Okay. Okay, we get another one over here. I do find it a bit annoying that the game shuts off my pit boy light every time I enter into a, into a cell. Maybe you guys hate the dark wall. Yeah, actually, the funny thing is, like, on the boat... There are lights on 24-7 in a lot of places. They never shut off. But in some areas, such as the uh, the birthing, um, they go from a, they go from the, between, there are certain hours where the lights are just on and it's bright, but the rest of the time they're, they're, uh, they're darkened and there's a bit of like a red light, a bit of a red glow. And that's really just to provide enough light for people to actually see. Because during, um, what is it? Yeah, there's during certain times where the lights are just off. 
And because, you know, people are sleeping and whatnot. Is this the spot? The barracks. Here we go. Okay. Ooh, this is not fun. Oh, he his arm his arm's missing. That's not good. Oh, here we're in the toilet. What kind of ship was I on? I was on an aircraft carrier. In reality, in fact, I was on three separate aircraft carriers. I was on the USS Abraham Lincoln, the USS John C. Stennis, and the USS Ronald Reagan. Uh, the Lincoln was CVN-72, the Stennis was CVN-74, and the Reagan was CVN-76. And I worked on the flight deck of all three of them. And I did that in, I did that in, let's see here, one... See, 2003, four, yeah, I worked on all of them in three, in, uh, yeah, three years. I did that in three years. I've been on three separate aircraft carriers in a three-year period of time. Yes, there are two barracks you should see, an enemy called Dead Sea. Okay. So, hmm. I must be blind or something, maybe. I don't know. Oh, damn. Okay, they'd be bunking and bunking all over the place. Okay, so here's the other barracks, it looks like. Yes, I was active duty. I did, uh, I was, uh, oh, okay, here we go. My man did not make it. Yeah, it was uh, 2001 to 2005 is when I was active duty. I was supposed to go, I was supposed to go in, um, I was supposed to go to boot camp. Hello? Liberator. Bonus land damage, bonus critical chance. 16 damage and 57 DPS. Interesting. Nice. Unique machete. As I was being distracted. Hello. Single shotgun. Yes. Awesome. So yeah. Um, in 2001, I was supposed to go to boot camp September 13th, 2001. But because of September 11th, I couldn't get into boot camp until September 17th. So I was technically late by what? Four days? It's technically four days late. Ooh, there we go. I can repair my repeater now. Nice. And then when I left boot camp. What? What the heck? Oh, I see. What's going on? What's going on, guys? Hi. You have a you have a cabo repeater. Why are you hiding? You're not supposed to be hiding. You're supposed to be fighting. Don't run away. You know, if you ran, if, if Caesar caught you running around, he would have you, you know, have you ripped apart by dogs, you know, or what is the word? Or he'll have you crucified. I'm not, am I the bad guy? I think I'm the bad guy. You have his throwing spear, Legion Explorer armor. Okay. Yeah, so after boot camp, I went down to Florida for my A school. From the from the U.S. Navy to the NCR, quite the career. Yeah, I know, right? 
I start off I start off young in the Navy, right? And then and then now I'm forty years old and I'm in the NCR. Quite the journey. And not only that, in the future too. Can't believe I lived this long. Forty years and it's what? <laughs> it's like I just woke up one day and I'm here. So they're not moving a whole lot. <coughs> Excuse me. Wow, that was loud. What kind of enemies we got over here? Lizards or geckos or... They're not moving around really quickly, so they're not Cazadors. At least I don't think they are. I could be entirely wrong, but I remember Cazadors always moving back and forth very quickly. You know, I wonder if my luck... Oh! Oh, there we go. Ah, speaking of bad... Speaking of luck... Geckos. Yeah. Geckos would be great. Oh, nope, we got some more of these guys. What's going on? Vengeance. Let's just start slashing and packing. I'm the pint sized slasher. Ooh, so close to getting to 11. I am the pine side slasher. Oh, uh, what do we do, do? Okay, so there's one here. There we go. Ooh, I'm kind of unhappy. Yeah, you know, my 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 little paper doll here is a little unhappy with me, so I might just use. Uh, Wait a second here. No, that's not what I wanted to do. Take Xander and block Brock Flower always. Mm. Now this guy, he had Xander root. Yes, he did. Speaking of which. Speaking of that, where's my healing powder? Got a lot of it. I got a lot of food on my head, on my person right now. Okay, so y'all were here. What y'all were doing up here? Any uh, any ammo? Used for making stim packs. Oh, really? Did not know that. These Legion guys are everywhere. I mean, maybe they're right. You know, the Legion's everywhere. They just. It's a miracle they haven't rover ran everybody yet? I don't know. Man, this game has a lot of unique weapons. I didn't know about that gun. I didn't know about um, the machete there. I didn't know about uh, the shotgun. There's so much I don't know. Hello. Oh, you're ranging me. Okay. Yeah. What is going on here? You know, I've played Fallout 4, so I've played Fallout 4 Survival so much that I, I'm sitting here and like trying to, I'm like, hey, I should fast travel. Right? Okay, so where is, here we are here, so we can just go north. Oh. Oh, no, that's south, not north. This is north. Oh man, I'm getting really tired. I mean, I'm tired, but now I'm getting like sleepy tired. Oh. 
Oh, you know what? What is my current cap? You can help me get a great weapon? Yeah. I did watch a video about like a different tier level. Like this guy did like a tier list of all the different um, armor. And the one that he, the one that I really liked was the, uh, was it the, was it the right gear mark two? Like the improved right gear or something like that. That one really caught my attention. And then I saw another video. Of this guy showed me how to get the how it, how to get riot gear like um, at level one by going into the divide. And just like looting everything and selling them all to the uh, the commons area, I think it's called. So I know I know I got to get to New Vegas in order to join the NCR officially. I think it is. You know, to go no maybe not join it officially. What is it? The is the ambassador or whatever his name is in. Yeah, I was actually I actually was kind of curious about in what order to play the games to play the DLC, and I think the earliest level was like ten, and that was the um, they said suggested just to play the DLC in order of release because because there's like story elements that travel all through throughout all of them into the final DLC, and I'm like that sounds like a pretty cool idea. But I was also curious like what level should I start at? And like one deal one DLC was like level ten, level fifteen, or something like that. Um, another one was uh, level twenty. But I think um, Ambassador Crocker. Okay, yeah. So I'm sitting there thinking, you know what I'll do? I'll get to like level, I was thinking I'll play through the game until I get to maybe to like level 25, level 30, and then I'll start playing the DLC. Oh, do we have a, are we get? Are we about to get ass assassinated? I think we're getting ass assassinated here. Uh, you know what? Let's be a little, let's be a little silly about this. Can't What's going on? Stabby stabby. Oh, you got a big one. Reprisal. <laughs> Got him. Oh, he's smoking. Level twelve, level twenty-five is a great. Uh, oh, here we go. Leveled. Yay. Okay, so. Uh, oh man, one point shortened guns. How about melee? Why can't I read melee? What the hell is my problem? Nope. Two points short. Okay. So we we'll get the repair up there. Lockpick? Oh yeah, you're right. Lockpick. Yeah, because you had lock uh, speech. Let's see, speech, uh, science, lockpick, medicine. Take those. Take the healing powder. Super sledge. Need eight strength for that. Of course I do. I don't know. I don't know. Is it me? I remember the assassins being much more difficult to kill. Maybe I just. Maybe I was just traveling alone. And that's why I made it more difficult. I definitely need to get and you definitely need to get better armor. Ooh, a ripper. 
Ignores damage threshold and damage resistance. DR, DT, and DTR. DR. D -d 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 Uh, go lockpick to 75, then guns, and work in rule of fives for skills. Oh, okay. You know, I did I did see a video of this guy who says, you know, build your character this very specific way, and by the time, and when you hit 50, you'll have 100 in every single skill. And I'm like, that might be fun and great, but I, that seems like a lot of effort for, you know, someone coming back to the game for, you know, after such a long time. All right, so we got some vendors over here. Oh, is that Camp McCarran? Van Graff armor up ahead. Oh. What's up, Fitz? Welcome to the Grub and Go. <coughs> Excuse me. What is this place? Just a little rest stop that me and my good friend Lupe set up. Last stop on your way into New Vegas, first stop on your way out. That's what I say. Make sure what you got for sale. Sure thing. Anything else I can do for you? Oh, not a whole lot of everything, does he? Just a little, just small bits and pieces here and there. Oh, I'm not really using these. I'm going to sell him. All these weapons. He'll be a new he'll be the new gun runner. There you go. Let's upset the economy. Let's flood it with new guns so the price for guns goes down and then uh Yeah. I don't really use buff out. I'm not really much of a chem user in the games. So I got a bunch of stuff here that I don't really need not really using. I'll probably need to use that in the future, so I'll hold on to that. I'm not really using these. Mentats for the intel, perception, and charisma. Oh, I forgot I have those. I forget those actually do charisma. I thought it was just intel. I guess I've been playing too much Fallout 4. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna keep a hold of the Hydra. Fire Ant Nectar, ooh. Thanks. All right, let's go. I definitely need to get those, I definitely need more caps. I won't be able to get into the Vegas without the caps. I don't need a hundred and everything, yeah. I mean, it doesn't really fit my play style. Like if I am consuming a lot of food, it probably makes sense to put, you know, Put points into survival just so I can get more benefit from food, right? That makes sense. But if I was playing on like hardcore, that's probably a mu you know survival skill is probably a must. Let's see. Um, but yeah, I use the most rifles and energy weapons. Well, just rifles in general. Is that a person or just a fire? No, okay, that's just a fire. Ooh, we got some folks up here. Are they friendly folks? Well, the compass, they're not red on the compass. They might be friendly. Follow the overpass to combat armor. Look for the wood bridge. Okay. So we just have random soldiers up here, just chilling. Oh yeah, I show up and now they look like they're doing something. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm -hmm. I see how it is. That's like your boss shows up, you know, and you pretend you're working. Oh, man, you are really moving. What's going on? Oh, hello. Oh, young golden gecko. 
All right, you know what we'll do? We'll, um, which one was my cab or repeater? There we go. Oh, wait, what? No, that's the shotgun. Wait, do I not have the cowboy set to one? What's going on here? No, that's... I don't. Huh, that's annoying. There we go. Wow, I miss. I'm terrible at shooting. I get one shot and then the rest of it makes me look like I'm a scrub. Okay, so these look like the wooden bridges you were talking about. Yeah. This is looking like a... Oh, here we go. Durable done sacked caravan. Okay, this is what you were talking about. Crimson Caravan Guards. Ooh, a lever-action shotgun. Van Griff. Okay, we go. Combat armor. Nice. This is this is the good stuff right here. Plasma rifle. Yeah, okay, we can find, can we find another one, maybe? Maybe another couple? Oh, okay, looking good here. There we go. Oh, we got ourselves a Brahmin down. Plungers, sugar bombs, and vodka. You know, I made I've been made, I've made jokes for quite a while about plungers always being at the sites of really terrible, horrible things. I did it quite a bit in Fallout 3 when I streamed that game. Alright, we get ourselves improved nonsense. Brilliant. There we go. Quite a few of these. Take the entry syringes. Okay. Let's see here. There's one over here. Oh, Simpax, gotcha. Mm. Oh, we have another Brahmin over here. Oh, powders. Oh, and it's 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 just seasoned. Rock flowers, sandal root, and empty syringes for stim packs. Mm. And I can. Oh, you know what? Um. I'm kind of curious. Well, there we go. There you go. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, what was I doing? Oh, yeah, I was checking on this. That's right. Oh, science? Okay. Roger. Okay, I was curious. Uh, do I craft those at... Do I craft those here? Homebrewed Sunset Sarsaparilla.
Okay. What's down over there? Wait a second. I'm traveling south when I want to travel north. I'm such a silly person. Made it work, benches? Okay. Oh, another wooden bridge is over here. Mm. All right, so... What is the name of that quest? Um, oh, here we are. So let's go for a little. I guess we're gonna do a little bit of work in the Crimson Caravan because we need. I need to get more caps so I can pass the credit check to get into New Vegas. But I also want to go to Camp McCarran because there's stuff there to do as well. It is getting rather late for me. I gotta get up tomorrow and actually do the whole creator, content creator thing, you know, where I sit down and I have an idea and I record footage and I do commentary voiceover nonsense and hello. Cass is your favorite follower? And then, uh, that's good. I do like I do like her quest where um Oh what is it? Like you like you uncover evidence of some bad nonsense and you take it to the NCR. I, I did I remember doing that. I know there was another one where you could probably en enact vengeance upon them, but I don't never went down that route. Now, can I... Where's the sewer? I saw the sewer. I ran right past it, didn't I? It's over here. What is in the sewer? I don't think this is the place, but I know there's a place where there's like arena where you can get a bunch of animals from the, from the actual... from the Mojave. And you can, um... bite them. Or, not, or you can have them fight in an arena. What's going on down here? Is this just a random place? I'm looking around, but I'm not seeing anybody or anything. And it's really quiet. I'm just talking really loud. Look at me. Northeast the Thorn. Oh, okay, that's what it's called. Oh, I see. Oh, just like in the real Vegas. Okay. Unique lead pipe in the sewers, but not great. 
Well, I mean, it's 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 lead pipe cruelty, you know, uh, mercenary sensibility. It's not great. You know, if, if the one thing I I really kind of find annoying about Fallout 4 is if they made the weapons a lot much more unique than they actually are. They're just more or less like glorified loot nonsense going on there. Oh, this way. No, not that way. Wait, what? Am I lost? I think I'm lost. Did I get myself lost? Oh, here it is. But there are some pretty good, pretty unique weapons in, you know, Fallout 4. I just wish they were more unique. Like, oh, this named weapon is the only weapon with this, uh, you know, particular kind of uh, effect. Hello? Uh-oh. Sewer rats. Really? A giant rat. Wait, giant rat? That's not a reference to... Is that a reference to, um... Is that a reference for a previous game? You wanna... Yeah, I mean... The thing... The one thing I really like about Fallout 4 is the combat. It's not a... It's not a very good RPG. And, I, and, I, and I've played... I've played a... I've played a fair few RPGs. It's not really a great one. It kind of reminds me of Borderlands, with how it handles its loot. But the Borderlands, the the loot is actually you know, fun. And there are there's a few good weapons in Fallout Four, you know. Some of them you gotta get you kind of have to grind for, you know. Everybody wants their explosive uh, shotgun, right? And oh whoa, that lit lit up real quick. Like the assault rifle with what with, with a water cooled barrel, <laughs> right? Boy, that that went bright real quick. That's awesome. Yeah, my my pretty much my two favorite weapons in Fallout Four are um, the Overseer's Guardian and the uh, Throat Slicer from Nuka World. I mean, I could play the entire game with just those two weapons and, and be completely contentful. Like, I wouldn't really need any of I do love Fallout 4 and Borderlands. Was playing Fallout before or before I was watching you? No. <coughs> yeah, there's a, there's a funny thing. Like, here recently, um, I made a video on where to get a combat rifle at the ambush caravan. And I forgot to include the actual location on the map. Splatter cannon. Splatter cannon is fun. Yeah, yeah. Uh, splatter cannon kind of reminds me of uh, spray and pray, but spray and pray's got that, that explosive effect as well, like that. And the actual the 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 actual uh, what do you call it? the the paint skin on the splatter cannon is really fun. It's really fun. It's like a uh, it's almost like a what do they call that? Uh, funfetti type of uh, like somebody took spray look took some paint and just splattered it all over it. It's like a fun Fetty kind of thing. I enjoy that. And uh, watching it chew through death claws is fun. Although for me, I'm not much of a fan of automatic weapons. I'd love to watch your Fallout 4 streams. Yeah, I did a, um, I did a, what is it? Uh, oh, what was it? Well, a while back, I did a uh, I did a Fallout 4 stream, just normal gameplay, and then I did my first ever uh, Fallout. Uh, then I did my first ever survival run, and learned quite a bit from that. And now I'm just kind of doing a uh, essentially a let's play. Oh, sharecropper farms! These guys have these guys have a quest for me. And now I'm just kind of doing like a uh, a like a not really not ultra modded. That's not correct. There's a there's a mod collection called a Story Wealth, and I'm doing a playthrough of that mod collection. Old Faithful is great except for the reload. I really like the far I really like Far Harbor. Yeah, Far, far Harbor is quite literally the best um, RPG experience that Fallout 4 has. 
Um, if they had done something like that for the entire game, if they took the Far Harbor RPG experience and just applied it to the entire game, hell, I mean, it would be a far better RPG. A far better RPG. Having so many different endings, I mean, you can either choose this, you can choose, um, oh, there's so many endings. And you know what funny thing is? It does, regardless of what ending you choose in Far Harbor, you can, if you're part of the Institute or the Brotherhood, you could take them to Far Harbor and still take down Arcadia. Like if you side with Arcadia and you know, and you help Dima, you know, keep everything hush hush and nobody ever finds out what he did, you could still show up with the Institute or the, or the Brotherhood of Steel and just take the place out. I mean, that's great. I mean, like, there should be some kind of option for that, you know? Um, there was one, there's actually one end game option that I never, well, there's one, there's one option I never chose in, um, in the main quest line. It was, um, there's an option where the Minutemen actually take out the Brotherhood of Steel. I never went down, I never chose that option. And I'm like, man, I should really give that a shot one day to see, you know, what I need to do to make it happen. I agree it filled with it. Uh, it filled what Fallout 4 was missing. I do not like the Institute at all, really. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I played the Institute. I did one Institute ending just to have the experience. Um, of course, I did that. What do you, I guess you'd call it the achievement run. I played... I played through um, all of the different endings with the different factions on the Xbox, but I have not done that on the PC, which is where I'm doing most of my, uh, well, streaming and my uh, um, actual gameplay, or I'm sorry, my uh, my Let's Play. I tried doing when I first started when I first started doing the YouTube thing. I tried doing a Let's Play. I tried doing a Let's Play of Stardew Valley because it just came out. But uh, life happened and it just really got in the way. You're doing the Minuteman ending right now? Yeah. Like, I would say that the Minute... I think the Minuteman ending is kind of... I'm not going to say the... What is it? I'm not going to say it's the canon ending. But it's like the ending that I think would be best. Because, uh, you know, the Brotherhood of Steel remains intact. The Railroad remains intact. And the Minuteman, are, of course, they're there. And the Institute is gone. Um, although I don't really have... Ooh. Oh, damn. Excuse me. Wow. Okay. Oh, damn. It's almost midnight. <laughs> no wonder I'm tired. It's midnight. <laughs> oh, man. You know what? Where's Camp McCarran? I want to go there. I want to go to Camp McCarran before I call it a night. There it is. Okay. I'll go this way. Yeah, I want to get to Camp McCarran so that I can start doing some quests there. And then um, also do some quests with the Crimson Caravan. Get Build up my money. It's a bunch of stuff to do. It's 2 a.m. for you? Wow. I'll see. I'm... So that means... Uh, I'm Pacific time, so that means what you're central, I guess? Central time? Oh, wait a second. I do remember along here, or along these areas, there are fiends that attack, I think. So, might have to watch out for some fiends. What am I looking at here? Okay, we got a Brahmin. Followed directly behind by a guy in some metal armor. Texas, woo! McLafferty's a hard boss, but she knows what she's doing, that's for sure. Right, what you got? Fuck, look, McLafferty's a hard boss, but she knows what she's doing, that's for sure. McLafferty's been riding oh. asses again. Better lay low. Okay, I guess you're a trader, but I can't buy anything from you, so are you really a trader? I think you're just, you're, you're a plant. You are a, uh... You're not really there. Okay, here we go. Matt Ranfield. McCarran. All right. 
this is the place. Let's see what he got here. Uh, talk to? Mercy killing is expected of NCR snipers. The Legion likes to torture their prisoners within sight of NCR positions. We get called on to end it. I've had my share. Some of them, you think. Maybe you could have gotten them out. Maybe it's not the Legion that got them killed. Maybe it's your orders and you following them. Uh, let's see here. What does it say? Uh, oh, damn. Okay. Quite a lot here. Yeah. All right. Oh, what is it? L. Ray? Oh, hello. I didn't even see you. Nelson's back in our hands. Hope we can defend it this time. You know, that's also another thing, too. In, the, uh, in this game, you do something and people recognize it. People notice it, right? But in other, but in other Bethesda's other games, they don't really even notice. Like Skyrim, for example, you become the Archmage of College of Winterhold. You do this a big, huge, amazing thing. You become the Archmage, right? And yet, I walk over to like White Run and like the wizard there is like, "Oh, you look like a wizard." It's like, yeah, I'm the Archmage. Did you not know? It's like you know, they never hear about anything you do. And the and it's interesting. The only time that anybody, any of the NPCs in Skyrim acknowledge you of any way, shape, or form is when you're either in the Thieves Guild or in the or you're with the uh, the Dark Brotherhood. Because the guards will actually mention something specific to those two groups. But everything else, oh oh, and being a companion, but like. Everybody else is like, whatever. I'll do what I want. <laughs> I have expected to call you a LARPer. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. Yeah, I think I'm going to call it a night. I got to get some sleep. <laughs> this is kicking my ass. Eddie. Boone. Got to call it a night, guys. It's sleepy. Look at it. It's dark o'clock right now. The sours are out. Got to go to sleep. This man here. I'm glad to see you. Hey. Yeah, but you can't. You're not selling anything to me, though. Bramin. I hear a troublesome legion camp got raised to the ground. Yeah. I wonder who did that. <laughs> uh, well, I will be playing this tomorrow. Um, I will try to get on before 8 o'clock uh, because work was so late today I didn't really get on until after 8 o'clock so I generally try to stream before 8 and I'll stream until about 11. I usually don't stream this late but uh, that's right and oh in the future uh, next month is my birthday and I have gotten time I got time off for that so there's gonna be a period of was it nine days where I won't be at work so I'll have time to relax and just, you know, not think about work at all. <laughs> I'll have time to stream. I'll have time to make videos. Um, I might even go, th I might even in the spare time when I'm not doing either of those things, we'll uh, actually kind of play through the main storyline of Fallout 4 to see if I can get the, uh, get the Minutemen ending where we actually take down the brother, take down the uh, Brotherhood of Steel. Because I'm kind of curious if I can get... Um, vengeance. Is it Vengeance? No, not Vengeance. That's Fallout 3. Final Judgment. That's what it's called. Um, Elder Maxon's weapon is Final Judgment. I really like that Gatlin laser. It's a fun one. I'm not a, I'm not a really a big fan of Arturnus. I think it's our call Arturnus. It's the Gatlin laser you get from Nuka World. That's part of the gauntlet. Um... Yeah, I might go down the route, or maybe I'll just start planning or try to figure out some planning, some future game. Because I'm just one done. Once I'm done playing Fallout New Vegas, I'm kind of curious as to which game I'll stream after that. I might I might stream 76? I don't know. Eh, yeah, welcome back. Yep. Yeah, so I was always kind of wondering. 
look at that me my green hair so yeah let's see here so next month is my is my birthday's next month and I have a week off of work so technically I'll have four days no nine days of no work which is great uh, let's see here um, I'll be playing New Vegas up until I'm finished the the DLC and the main storyline Eternus once but yeah yeah it's supposed to have and uh, let's see here um, and during that time during my week during my time off I'll stream I'll make videos I might play a game or two I might plan for future games to play I just kind of get I just kind of sit down and make it I yeah I'm a big fan of the Fallen Angel cut I am a big fan of the Fallen Angel cut I, and like in Fallout 3 I would have it be red instead of green but in New Vegas I wanted it to be green um yeah let's see here I'll be on here I'll, I'll be streaming I'll be here tomorrow um, hopefully before eight o'clock so that and I'll just continue streaming uh, New Vegas uh, on Sunday is my usually my rest days where I don't do any work I mean I might do a little bit of video editing on Sunday if I run out of time on Saturday but generally on Sundays is when uh, I kind of you know do the usual boring stuff like go shopping for food you know and laundry and other quote-unquote things that adults do <laughs> you join me for a birthday if i can yeah you know if you can make it it'd be great you know no not no mandatory it's not like i'm gonna sit there it's like i'm not gonna be like uh i'm not gonna say you have to be there because it's my birthday and i'm special and unique now if you can make it that'd be great I'll uh, actually post, um, I'll do like a community post. I'll do a post on my community little tab where um, it will kind of give you like an itinerary of what I intend to do that week. Um, most likely, most likely I'll be streaming New Vegas during that time because I don't see myself finishing New Vegas before next month, right? Before I go vacation next month. So I might end up playing New Vegas and finishing it during the week, during that week. Uh, let's see. I don't really... But after New Vegas, I don't know what I'll stream. Maybe I'll stream a different game. Maybe I'll stream 76. Um, maybe I'll stream a modded version of... Um, a modded version of a game or something. I don't know. I have played, I have played a lot of Skyrim. But I'm kind of wondering, you know, it's pretty... What is it? It's... Uh, I don't want to say Skyrim's been played to death, but um, I've been playing with a lot of playing around with a lot of mods, making doing like a modded Skyrim kind of thing to see how how much I can change it, maybe change it into a completely different game for what it actually is, and people people won't recognize it. Maybe I don't know. Now I'm just yammering on. <laughs> oh, I better save. That's what I better do, huh? Dying Light. Uh, have I ever played Dying Light? Mm. Is that the one where... Is it like a... Um, it's not... I'm not gonna... Is it infected? Are they infected? Like they have some kind of illness or disease that makes them really aggressive and they chase you? They're not zombies, but like infected? I think I've seen a video where this guy doing like this ridiculous parkour from building to building as he tries to escape the horde. Because I haven't played that. I've seen a little bit of gameplay, but I haven't played it. Boy, you're kind of grumbly. You doing okay? Better lay low. Right. Uh, let's see here. Um, I had started playing the Final Fantasy VII Remake, but I hadn't gotten too far into it. Maybe only a few hours. So I might that might be something to stream. It's fun. Okay, I like. I saw. I saw in in like the dying light. In I think it. I think it's dying. I don't know if it's the second one or not. But there's a scene where the guy is where the person's in the sewers, and there's the he hears like the roaring sound behind him, and he just starts running down the sewer, and it's like the most terrifying thing because 
up ahead you see the you see the infected dropping down trying to get in the way and he's like having to like jump from like platform to platform just to escape the horde is like and the, and the sound like the, the 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 backgrounds the background music and the sound and the screeching and the running and it was it's it, it looked really intense it looked really intense Man. That is an idea. That is an idea of something to play, yeah. Now, what I really need to do is sit down and just kind of plan out, like, future content so that I don't, you know, run out of ideas. That should be the first one. The second one is not great. Ooh, that's unfortunate. I mean, I hear sequels. I hear sequels are are kind of difficult to really um, capture the essence of the first one, right? Um, it's so good. Hmm. You know, I'll look into it. I'll watch some videos. It's a little faster place. Yeah. I'll watch some videos. I'll look into it, watch some videos. Um, see if I like, see if I uh, like the gameplay. I'm kind of a big gameplay person. Like, uh, I like Fallout 4's gameplay. I don't like it as an RPG, but I like its, but I like its gameplay. Um, I like New Vegas's RPG, but it's, it's a gameplay is kind of, kind of slow. Um, it gets real fast with melee, but it's kind of slow overall. Um, Fallout 4's gameplay feels more impactful, more visceral. Um, although Fallout 3, when you're using Bloody Mess, that is such a massive impact of, a, of an ability. It's amazing. <coughs> okay, you know, I'm going to call it here. Yep, thanks for coming by and watching. I really appreciate it. Thanks for the tips and show me where some unique weapons were. That's awesome. Um, I'll look in to see what what order the DLC is released in for New Vegas, so that um, I can play it in proper order. Because I don't want to I don't want to ruin it. You know, I don't want to ruin the experience for myself. Because I've never played the DLCs before. I only ever played the core game, but I never played any of the DLCs. Um. So yeah. The, so yeah. Bioshock, Metro, Far Cry are great examples. Okay. Far Cry, yeah, Metro. Metro, Metro, wait, Metro Last Light? Is that the one? Uh, where a lot of folks spend time in the sewers? What was it? There was another one that somebody mentioned a while back. Is it Stalker? I think there's a game called Stalker that somebody mentioned a while back. And there's even a mod, there's even a Stalker mod for Fallout 4. I do, I've heard about that. Um, well, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say goodnight. Thank you for being here, I really appreciate it. I'm gonna have me a nice sleep, and maybe a sleep in. <laughs> Chillax. Uh. Well, anyway, like I said, uh, I guess the same to say be, uh, you know, thank you for watching. I love your faces and uh, I'll see you. I'll see you next stream. Well, 